Japan, ang bansa ng mga samurai. Kilalang mananakop noong panahon ng digmaan. Napilitang sumuko dahil sa tapang ng mga mandirigmang Pilipino. Sa pagtakbo ng modernong panahon, nananalaytay pa din ang dugo ng mga ninuno nating matatapang. Ngunit ang laban ay wala na sa lupa, kundi sa ibabaw ng lona. Tatlumput pitong taon matapos ang digmaan, isinilang sa parting Mindanao ang sasakop sa mga mandirigmang Hapon. Imbis na laro ang tao-tauhan ang hawakan, boxing gloves at mitts ang pinagkakaabalahan. Kaya maliit pa lamang, nakitaan na ng pambihirang potensyal na maging world champion. And still champion. Tubong Panabo City, Davao del Norte, isla ng Mindanao. Ang kauna-unahang boksingerong naging world champion na inalagaan ni Manny Pacman Pacquiao at MP Promotions. Jerwin Pretty Boy ang kahas. Armado ng disabog na kamao na iiwanan kang lupaypay at nakahandusay. Alagad ng hukbong dagat na itinuring na ding anak ng bayan ng Cavite. Sa tulong ng promosyon ni Pacman, naiakyat ni Jerwin ang kahas ang IBF Super Flyweight Belt noong 2016. Umiskor ng 12-round unanimous decision win si Pretty Boy kontra sa kampyong alaga ni Koto na si Mac Joe Arroyo. Mula noon, ibinandera na ni Jerwin ang kahas ang trademark color na pula at puti bilang sagisag ng katapangan at kalinisan. Sa pangalawang pagdepensa sa titulo, naimbitahan si Jerwin ang kahas na magtanghal bilang co-main event ng Pacquiao vs. Horn sa Queensland, Australia. Sa katanghali ang tapat, winasak ni ang kahas ang Japanese contender na si Teiro Kinoshita. Narito ang full fight highlights ng laban. But does he know how to fight tall? You want to use the outside. You want to use those long arms. I think he, he might have had an earpiece in his ear because he stepped back and he started. He's physical assets are to be on the outside. He's the bigger guy. He's in 123. He's glad to. Number one. Tried to drive down a straight left hand. Was just off his way. Our way to see Manny Pacquiao. Right now, the first fighter that Manny Pacquiao. I've been in the Philippines. The others have been in China. You know, you have to have certain kind of preparation when you get me. Records of Kinoshita. Over the right eye of the Japanese challenger, Kinoshita. They're a little red. Nothing unusual for these two. Blood is starting to become significant. It is dripping. <laughs> Probably is. Let's see what they rule it here, because that could be significant. Well, between us, was it caused by a clash or a punch? And he said, clearly a punch. Yeah, take that with a grain of straw or a grain of silly really close. Very hard to decipher whether it was a head. Five rules, and here in Australia, absolutely not. There's a long left hand. Nita, with that punch. Inoshita. You know, fighting a, another softball, your heads will punch. Punches, you see the numbers being tallied by CompuBox right now. And Kahas with Great a... line. Good and combination that time too by the Filipino. Coming to the end of round number three. Work. Well, this Suncorp Stadium that is home to brutal clashes. Brow of Ankahas to Kinoshita, and that is the cut you see. Advantage. When you give up that height by going inside or left, starting to zero in on that long, skinny body. Forward and rubbing it, trying to rub his eye and trying to get the blood out of his eye. But if you like also. He's more dimensional yes. than Kino Sheep's opportunities. And Kahas is giving, really, come to you. And then Kahas has been doing both those things. He wants to be close, he gets close. Good body. As he has controlled the early goings of this title fight. Sid, I'm wondering if an elbow didn't clip him there because as your referee said, it's from a punch. And that's what it is. 
here on a sun-baked Sunday afternoon. He's in the changing business model of boxing. Right. If you're facing the wrong way in this ring with the sun, the bright sun, the sun getting in his right eye. The bad news is nothing. If he looks at a certain point, he would be facing right into the pad. I would say that 70% of that vision is gone. From the top on Tahas and another another body shot there for a world title just a few years ago and now another chance Ted using those longer arms although he came in there and ate something Joe Teddy and Timmy back with you here in Brisbane on 60th win of his Australia and Lauren said in listening into the corner he said it's you know what, guys, it's really hot. I feel it letting your legs in there because it is so hot in there already. Because we talked about it, you know, and there was a good shot over the top by a sentence that Kinoshita's eye is closed. Makes it up. Oh, there's a sharp driving left hand. To, uh, to win those titles. If you're in there right now with a guy with his eye closed. Coming to the halfway, the improbable title challenger who's going to see if he can be fight. Round number seven. You know, she, too little, too late with that ice. You know you have to get on those. Kind of like being a gardener. You got to, it's like getting weeds out. You gave it for the champion and Cajas to 39. Go get you, as he's doing right oh, now. Oh, good body Go shot. Body. Back up here in round seven. He waves it off. He cannot continue. Makaraan ng halos dalawang taon. Isa na namang kamikaze ang gustong umagaw sa titulo ni ang Cajas. Tulad ng inaasahan. Walang nagawa si Rui Chifunay. Six wins by KO. So he, in our fighter meeting, very confident, very poised. Kahas likes it inside, and we're going to find the fight inside position to be able to land their shots. And Kahas with a right hook. Side, that's when he's at his best, in my opinion. Kahas right there, middle, instead of stepping around and getting on the angle to be able to get this very uncomfortable. U.S. debut, IBF Junior Bantamweight title. Yes! In arena on a fight card bookend by world title fights. Soon enough, we Junior Bantamweight IBF World Championship. Nice, you know, really heavy on the front foot. And I'm not, mm -hmm. several times, and he's also starting to bring that straight left back behind him. And there's six and seven, could drop or knock the opponent out if they land right. And catch on Kaha with it. As he should with that situation. Enough. And has good position to be able to do so. And he's converted to southpaw, so it's his strong hand. So the end of two. Ah! Back here in Stockton, get a look at the guy who saw the effectiveness of that right hook, left hand combination. Range, then come back to land his own right hand. But then Bernardo is soon. Good evening to you. What are they saying in his corner? Joven, he meant right now is stepping up the tempo, pushing the pace. He's shot him. You take those angles away from him. Because our guys, it's very tricky. He's very crafty. About hard shot, that power right hand. That and this is an attractive third round. If you watch some of the little angles, combination from Encajas, and then Funai comes right back. Look at he is a Stockton homegrown product. He's coming up after hand comes in right to the body, right hook. He's got the challenge. Japanese challenger Funai, hold up. Trying a lot of success from Encajas with that short right harder, which is going to be a mistake because he's getting lined up oh. by every shot. Right hand to the body again. Missed the belt line that time. Sahas looking for the, the kill shot right here. Looking to land the over. That's a waist shot. You see how he's leaning to the side right there? Yes. Good body oh, shot. The way that Encajas has looked in recent fights, the lack He was battered Time. in that fourth round. There was no knock. Sharp tonight. He's not missing a whole lot with his power shot. Breather, but he needs a, a little bit more time, it looks like. So he's just trying to line Bring that defense down and continue to weaken Kahas is looking for. I think he's still hurt from the previous round. He's a little hurt. That's the there. And got the right distance to get away from those shots. So I'm going to take a very short break here and come right back to this title fight. Stay with us. $5,000. Remember, he grew up abject poverty. Never had money. Went and spent time on a Marine base. Yeah. I think it served him well. And, you know, he hasn't really had, he don't have an identity yet. He don't even have more. Getting a lot of people away. Keeping a simple team. The people that. Look at the CompuBotch numbers in that fourth round. He threw 88 power punches. Wait, but, you know, you got the challenger here, Funai. That's Danny. And another split in the guard. 
Can't get out of the way of the... Is your man hurt? I think our Kaihas knows exactly what... From the, Funai? Yeah, I've said it several times. I'm not trying to overstate the point. These are the kind of fights where I worry about a fighter's health. Take a look at him. Ringside Time. position. Okay, that's it. That's it. And I think... Excellent call yes. by the doctor. We don't always see those kind of calls. Jerwin, pretty boy! Sa pag-akyat ni Angkaha sa higher division, walang kahirap-hirap na sinikmuraan ni Pretty Boy ang palaman sa tinapay na si Wilner Soto. Agad na usap-usapan ngayon ang nilulutong laban sa pagitan ni na Jerwin Angkaha at current WBA bantamweight champ Takuma Inoue. Kung matuloy ang laban, tiyak ang disgrasya ni Inoue para maging two division world champion si Jerwin Pretty Boy Angkaha. Maraming salamat sa panonood mga pare ko at God bless.